date, though, on the same night. Looks like I need to go get some fast food. Where should we go this time? Oh, steak. Hell yeah. Grade A Wagyu. Immediately. Oh. I have a ribeye. Two grand! <laughs> That'd have been good, good steak. I love steak. I haven't had steak in so long. Hmm? <laughs> He's standing in front of his own picture. That's weird, right? Steaks are never going to freezer. Oh, I want one. Here. Yeah. Rigorous selection progress process to ensure that only the best reaches your table. Yeah, price is cheap. Cheap? It was two grand, mate. Hey. Hands weird. He's the president. Huh? The guy who runs this place. He's the guy who runs the business. Like I said, he was right in front of his own picture. Come on. Huh? President of the whole franchise. to get a feel bad this place is running. It's running pretty well, man. This is Yagami. I'm Yagami. Yagami-san. I will. I like steak. Steak is the best though, let's be honest. Imagine that, you go though to a restaurant. And as you're coming out, you get spoken to by what you think is the chef asking if you had a nice time. It's the guy who runs the place. Stop telling me about wall strike every time. Though I ironically do keep forgetting about it, so maybe they should tell me. Well, that definitely looks like a host. Hey, see ya, right? From Stardust? Huh? Eh? Sorry to butt in. You have a sec? You'll have to excuse me, my child. I won't be long. Hey, is everything okay? Don't worry. It'll all be fine. 
Mind stepping outside, Yagami-san? Wait, you know who I am? I do. You creepy? The owner over at Tender told me about you. Thought I'd ask you to do me a favor. You want to get back at a Yakuza who hit you, yeah? Yes. He said you might be able to manage something. A disgraced ex-lawyer who's not afraid to get his hands a little dirty. Sounds like you're pretty well known in Kamurocho. So that's what people say about me? One more thing. This is just a rumor, but uh, I hear you'll do anything for your clients. You even got a murderer off the hook, right? People will stop saying that soon to me. Oh, did I say something wrong? No, it's all right. Anyway, you said Captain Hamra hit you? That's right. When? The night of December 3rd. The day of the murder. You're sure? Yes. Funny enough, I've been hired to look into Hamra's case. This story of yours could be key evidence. My microphone That's so. my background sound or something? Not sure I want to be the guy who sets him free. I know you two have a history, but I need this. Please. How could I say no to a celebrity like you? So the cats at the That's crime funny. scenes. Uh... How to explain that? I have no idea. I like collectibles. It's the only way I think I can explain it. I might be able to prove Hamra's alibi now. What time did you run into Hamra? I think around midnight. It's not gonna help. Out in front of Kyushu Number One Star. Not the busiest I love that place. place. Kyushu Number One Star. Isn't that near Sana Goten? Yeah, it is. Mind telling me more? Why did he hit you in the first place? <laughs> Wish I knew. The guy reeked of booze, though. Because he was, was drunk, right? The street when I noticed him coming towards me. He was like, "Is my mic just picking up too much?" Kind of scary shit. I tried to avoid him, but he just barreled towards me anyway. Yeah. How many times did he hit that. you? Just the once. I left a fucking nasty bruise though. Knocked one of my fillings clean out too. A filling, huh? Did you go to the yeah, dentist? Huh? I hope that's not yeah, been the next day. I really do apologize about And you'll be in their records. That'll corroborate your testimony. Ah, so that's what you were getting at. Moving on, what did Hamura do after he hit you? He stumbled away into a sauna, that Goten place you mentioned. So just to Not recap, better? he hit you around 12, and then headed into sauna Goten. Yes. I use this now? <sighs> yeah, that sounds better. The old guy at Sauna Goten said that no one left the place until morning. I put the control off her. And as long as I can prove Hummer was here, have an alibi. we'll have her alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. Can I count on your testimony in court? No problem. It'd be nice to have the great Yagami-san owe me a favor. Maybe Masuda could give me a few freebies too. <laughs> sure. I'll ask him. <laughs> hey, one more thing. Why would he want Did to help? Did you see any security cameras around when you ran into Hamura? Video evidence would lock this up for me. Hmm. Couldn't say. I don't usually look for that stuff. Right. Seems a bit dodged, though, don't I? Well, thanks anyway. I'll be in touch. Of course. See ya. See you. Alright, over to Kyushu. Alright. Oh, left. I thought I was a bit further down. What? Ow. Yes, hello. Hi, Tomate, I'm hello? busy. Yo, it's me. You find Ayabe yet? Negative. But I did track down someone who had a run in with Hamura. Yeah? Is it good news? His alibi might be more airtight than he thought. You're kidding me. Just around midnight on the day of the crime, this guy Seiya got hit by Hamura, then saw him go to the sauna. 
It was apparently right by Kyushu number one star. If they have a security camera, it would have caught everything. I'm heading to check it oh, out. Oh no, I'm gonna have to Hold find on. a cat. Isn't that near KJR? Those Kyuri guys won't be happy to see you. If I was worried about getting seen, I'd never leave the office. Huh. Fair enough. Later. Hey man. Any Kyoshi number one star? Why would there ever be any Kyuri guys? That's... Guy likes me, it's fine. time it is guys time to find the cat uh -huh. sledgehammer hey Outside of bounds, that is harsh. Where do you find the cat? No, it's the camera. I guess it would be the one that we saw in the first place as well. So I guess. Suspicious. Anything else, maybe? What the? Maybe another camera? Everything we find gives us a few more points, you know. Guess not. Got the cat though, that's what matters, right? Later on, there's a side quest involving the cat cafe, and I think you have to go find them all. So I think it's preparing you for that, mate. Hey, you! Hey, you! Uh oh. Kaito was right. I know you, boy. Marase. What a coincidence. Boy. Oh. Clear your schedule, because I'm going to take my time with you. Boys! Get this fucker back to the office. I really don't have time for this. You talk! Kaito son. Stay the fuck out of this! Where are you? <laughs> Come on! That was pretty sweet, man. Hey, you want to try helping out? Sure thing. My turn! You two fuckers are going down now! Hey, we got Kaito helping us. Badass dropkick. Watching wrestling. Oh, no. He actually has a sword this time. That's a problem. Too close. Do I mean about the wall, honey? Let's get him. 
Please tell me you found something. You did, right? Maybe. Think I did. Check out that camera. We're in the clear if the thing puts Hamra here at midnight. And if it doesn't, let's let's try and stay optimistic. Well, camera. You got good news for us, or what? Imagine if the camera went. Yes. This video shows everything you need to see. My client, Hamarasan, drunkenly attacked this passerby on the night of the murder. Then, after the altercation, that same passerby watched Hamarasan walk into Sana Goten. Or in the court. Nobody came out of the building after that, until the train started in the morning. Meaning the defendant was accounted for during the hours in question. The defense asserts that this video establishes a clear alibi, which can only be seen as proof of Hamarasan's innocence. To that end, I have a question for the prosecution. Did you have any prior knowledge of this video before the trial began? I assure you that we reviewed all the relevant footage from the sauna. And yet the defendant was nowhere to be found, counsel. At least so I was told. Meaning, you never actually went to examine the site personally then. Would you say that's correct? Yes. My associates took care of that. Nonetheless, the defense's video is far too blurry to clearly identify either participant. There's no way to tell whether the man in the footage was the defendant or just a random pedestrian. Thank you very much. In that case, the defense would like to call a witness to the stand. You got a hammer punched. I'm guessing he's just a lie liar at this point, so I don't trust him. Oh yeah, someone's gotten to him. Seasan, do you claim you're the person in this video? That someone assaulted you that night? Is that accurate? Someone's got to him. Not cocky anymore, look at him. Yes. It is. Now tell us, this person who assaulted you, are they here in the courtroom? Witness? Is there a problem? I, um... Hmm? I must have... been mistaken. I am the one getting hit in the video. But as to who the other guy was... I can't say. Excuse me, Your Honor. Uh, recess, if you don't mind. What is going on? Why does someone want Hammer What happened in there? I, I... I can't... 
can't do it. I'm so sorry. But why? You were all ready to go this morning. Okay, my chairs just messed up. Ooh. Got a phone call earlier. Ooh. Go on. I am right. It said it was from my sister, but there was a strange man on the line. He said his name was Morase. Told me you know him, Yagami san. I will be right back. Morase. Okay, and he told you not to testify? Yes. He said if I did. If I did, I'd never see my sister again. Got it. What are you doing, Yagami? Calling the police? Kaito san, it's me. Those KJ art guys took Seiya's sister. I'm heading over there now. Could use a hand. The hell are you doing? We're in the middle of a trial here. A trial doesn't mean shit if you can't protect your witness. Uh. Buy me as much time as you can. I'll get Seiya's sister back. I'm the one who dragged you into this. I'll be the one to drag you out. Promise. By time, he says. He knows this is a court, right? Yeah, I think my chairs broke slightly. I don't know why, makes sense. What I miss? Like we have to go and save his sister. Yep. So Morase has taken the host sister, because I've forgotten his name already. Seiyu? Seiya? We're now gonna have to go and get him back. Kaito. Yo, it's Kaito. I'm here. Where are you? I'm right around the corner. The place looks kind of deserted. Lines down and everything. Are we sure this is where they got her? They're from Kansai, remember? They can't have that many hideouts. It's true. Plus. Plus what? I bet there's a reason all the blinds are down. If anything, that makes it more suspicious. I guess you've got a point. Anyways, I'll be up on the roof again. See you soon. Huh? Don't we get attacked though? Still can't get eyes on what's in there. Well, we can't just barge in. Who? No way I'm getting away with it. Then that's the only way. <laughs> I had a feeling. Sorry, I skipped this chat there. I've got a plan. You gotta sneak in. Yeah? He's giving us a Lay plan. It on me. First, I'll make a big scene out front. Then when they're distracted, you sneak in and get the girl. That's your big plan? Pretty good, <laughs> huh? Uh, sure. How are you gonna do it? You'll see soon enough. Just remember, both our asses are on the line here. <laughs> I won't forget. So, the girl's in there, yeah? Let's go bring her home. Right. I'll go look for a way in. Let you know when I, I find have one. Fire exit, right? It's one way to make a scene. What the fuck? Hey! Where's that asshole Morase? Name's Kaito. Ex Matsugane. Bring him out! Or I'll burn this shit down! Oh yeah, go on! I dare you! Just stay right there, punk! Gota, this is your chance. On it. Don't die, okay? Thank you. You really stuck around? You should have bailed when you had the chance. You're pretty fucked now. Dumbass! Dumbass! Who the fuck are you? I said I wanted Morase! You fucking scrubs ain't worth my time! Get Morase! Big swear words. Oh look, it's the uh, side entrance. 
pick the lock again. Almost there. Nice. Got it. Has it got fixed? Uh, can I just go upstairs? I uh, guess we're going in then. Ah, here we go. Fun turn bypass. Some time bypasses, I hate these. Shit. Almost there. They get harder. A box full of grenades. of weapons. Oh, club. I was kind of hoping to use the sledgehammer. Oh, well. You. Where's the girl you took? I don't know nothing, honest. I'm new here. They don't tell me shit. Huh? Well, then you're useless to me. <laughs> no way to go but up. Search floor by floor, I guess. Another fun turn bypass. Nope, not big. Nice. Almost there. That'll do it. I think I'm about to have a quick time event, aren't I? Die! Hold it. You're done for, bitch! This is why you buy food. Back to full. It's the rest of the room upstairs, I think. Sorry. Nice. It's almost there. Nice. Got it. Got it. Oh. What a waste of my chair a minute ago. Exploded. Get you back up. Oh, shit. Now, 
Tell me what I want to know, or else. Where's Marase? Hell if I know. Probably with the girl. The girl. Yeah, probably. Or was that the wrong option? How many of you Kyori guys are there? <laughs> Who knows? Fifty? A hundred? Any way you slice it, you're trapped. No chance you leave here alive. Shut it. Where's the girl? She's up in the reception room. Got it. Appreciate the honesty. Backhand in. Backhand in. What's the code for the reception room? Like I tell you. I don't have time for your games. Understand? Now I'm going to ask you again. What's the code to the reception room? One, three... Seven zero. Well, that wasn't so hard. Thanks. I will try on the other room. Perfect. Fuck him out. I reckon he's gonna chase me. Pick this lock again. How's it suddenly got an extra tumbler? Almost there. Nice. Almost there. Got it. Ah. Code for that door though. Was it 1370? Alright. Hey, say your sister. You're Saya's sister, right? Don't worry. You're safe now. Yagami! When the hell did you get here? About five minutes ago. Let the girl go. Right now. What do you mean? Let her go. The girl can leave whenever she wants. We don't have her tied up or nothing. Just in a locked room. I get it. It's all fine if you aren't keeping her captive, right? You just have to make her stay here until the trial's over. You really thought this one through. But that's not gonna work. Huh? Confinement is a crime, whether or not your captive is tied up, idiots. Shut your trap! You know, false imprisonment will get you between three months Ooh. and seven years, maybe even longer if you hurt the victim. Guess you'll have to take a little dip in an acid bath then. No body, no crime. <laughs> Intimidation too? Tack on another year. You piece of... Come on! Let's make sure this asshole never talks again! Yeah, see how that works out for you.
very cinematic. Just beat him up in a corner. That was rough though. And harder. Come on. Yeah, I saw that coming. Not so fast, Yagami. Arase san. Hasn't this gone on long enough? You're only gonna make things worse for yourself. Hamura has an alibi. Someone else clearly killed Kume. There's no reason for you to keep Seiya from testifying. But if Hamura didn't murder Kume, who did? I'll find out. I'm not sure, but Hamura might have an idea. He must have been working with the real murderer. What? The night of the crime, Kume went into Amor and just disappeared, right? He didn't contact you. Nobody saw him. He didn't even show up on any security footage. The alley, mate. The way I see it, Kume never left Amor. In other words, Hamra must have handed him over to the real murderer. While Hamra was at the sauna making an alibi for himself, someone else was murdering Kume and gouging his eyes out. It almost makes sense. If Hamura ends up behind bars, I'll never be able to prove that theory. So what? You want to let Hamura walk? Better that than threaten a girl to stop someone from testifying. Yeah, dick. Besides, I thought you were above shit like this. <laughs> All right, just get out of here. You got guts for a detective. Huh. <laughs> Thanks. Up with Shintani. Hamura san is the one punching me in this video. The same man standing here today. I remember now. There's no doubt Why in my didn't mind. Him, brother. So, you retract your earlier statement? Yes. My apologies. Your Honor, clearly this witness has no credibility. How does the defense respond? I admit, the witness was shaken up before, but I believe that's a perfectly understandable response. This is his first time in court, after all. I have no doubts regarding his credibility. This Stardust establishment. It's a host club, yes? How long have you been employed there? About two years. For that short a time frame, you seem to have an awful lot of trouble with your customers. Huh? I'm not sure what you mean. Several of them have approached you in hopes of marriage, have they not? They come spending huge sums of cash, so you act like you're ready to seal the deal. You say whatever it takes to make them happy in the moment. But your story changes once things start to get real. Five women have filed reports with the Consumer Affairs Bureau. And those are just the ones who have stepped forward. Can we really trust the words of such a manipulative man? With these character traits in mind, I sincerely doubt the credibility of the witness's testimony. And if the witness is indeed lying, the defendant's alibi is invalid. That is all. How does the defense respond? I'd like to continue on the topic of credibility. Mind if I ask you a few questions, Prosecutor? Go ahead. First, allow me to fast forward the security footage to just a few days Ooh. after the crime. Oddly enough, we'll be looking at the exact day the prosecution filed their suit. Hmm. Oh, look, it's him. Isn't that you, Prosecutor? Well, uh, yes. And in this footage, you're reenacting the altercation that took place between the defendant and our witness, yes? What? No. Well, that's strange. Allegedly. You stated earlier that you hadn't seen any footage from the camera near the sauna. But then... How would you be able to reenact things exactly as they went down? 
You also claimed you did not inspect the area yourself. Ooh. It seems that wasn't the truth. Why are you hiding the truth from us, prosecutor? You're wrong! As you can see, the original footage isn't exactly clear. I would understand if you would deny that the defendant was the man who punched our witness. But instead, you claimed you hadn't seen the footage at all. If I had to guess, when you first saw the footage, you realized Hamra might have been the other man. At the very least, you couldn't rule out the possibility. So you lied, I would say. I would say. That, that's not true. Can we be sure that what you say is credible? You've already lied outright in a court of law. And unfortunately for you, there's only one person who thinks the defendant is guilty. And that's you, prosecutor. Got him. The night Kume got murdered. Hummer was holed up in sauna go 10 till morning. What a punch, though. The footage from the security camera, Hummer's alibi, Seiya's testimony, it all lined up. With a story that airtight, there's no chance he could have killed Kume. We find the defendant, Kyohei Hamura, innocent. I will now clarify the reasoning behind this decision. Defendant, please be seated. The murder charge. The judge was right. Hamura definitely didn't kill Kume. But he had to have been involved. Meanwhile, the real killer is still out there, hiding in the shadows of Kamurocho. Murdering Yakuza, gouging their eyes out, retreating into his den. So, I've given him a name. The Mole. The Mole. A lawyer's job is done once he proves the defendant innocent. But me, I'm not a lawyer. Not anymore. Meaning my search for the truth only ends when I say it does. My office might be small, but that doesn't mean I don't have a reputation to uphold. In other words, I'll do whatever it takes to bring Hamura and the Mole down. There's one other guy standing behind. Looks like a slimy dick, do not he? Here we go, here's the other guy. See the ball? Yagami-san. Nice seeing you. Gorgeous day. How's the detective business been treating you lately? Yeah, I knew you'd show up here, Hattori. Listen, I'm not in the mood for your shit today. Yeah, but it's my journalistic duty to hear what you have to say. It's not personal, just trying to do my job, okay? Well, I've already seen what your so-called job produces. A fraudulent lawyer lets a murderer walk. Helpless girl suffers the consequences. <laughs> You and I both know. You're the only reason the girl died. You just had to go and set that killer free, didn't ah, you? Everyone's so mean, man. And the good people who raised her still suffer for it. You can't be coming back now. What would her poor family have to say to that, huh, Yagami-san? No need to worry about that. If you say so. See you around then. I trust him. <laughs>